Welcome back to Blue Collar Bass. And today, guys, we're going to be showing you a DIY tackle box build. right here I think it's pretty awesome I made it out of just a simple little storage container that I found at Lowe's for around eight bucks so it was really cheap and this is something that you guys can do on a budget you don't have to go out there and spend a lot of money on a tackle box at Walmart Academy wherever okay because those things can get pretty pricey uh, so come along learn how to make this and I think you'll enjoy it you can use this on a kayak John boat whatever it's kind of like a grab-and-go tote that you can carry all your stuff on. And guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. That way you can become a member of the Blue Collar Bassin TV family. That way you can stay up to date when I roll out videos on how to save money on things such as tackle boxes and other DIY builds. All right, and let's get started right now. Guys, this uh, portable tackle box system is pretty awesome. You guys can, uh, Make one yourself for really cheap. Like I said, the tote itself was only eight bucks at Lowe's. It's made by Craftsman. So it's, the reason I picked this one, it's really rigid and it has some nice little features already. Little slots where I can put like the pliers, things like that. So I didn't have to do a lot to this to make it functional. I added some shock cord and I didn't even really have to drill anything for it. I just kind of looped it around the handle that's already here and then ran it across and I just looped it around this other one. So it comes off really easy and it can go back on. So that way if you're fishing out of a boat and this were to you know, fall out of your boat or your kayak, if you were to flip it, uh, your tackle boxes are not gonna fall out of the tote. All right, so you could even add some styrofoam or like a pool floaty to the side of this. That way the whole system can float. All right, so this is just my idea right here, but you guys could tailor it however best fits you. So as you can tell, I put these little uh, holes on the side. That way I can put the baits that I use on a regular basis on the side. That way if I'm tying on new baits constantly, I'm not having to fool with opening up the tackle boxes every single time. So I think that's a pretty awesome little feature. And all I did guys is just take a drill with a real small drill bit and I made those holes. So. You can space those out however you would like. These right here, you might want to space those out just a little bit further. That way the treble hooks aren't getting tangled up with each other, but they're not too bad. Over here, you can see I have a fish scale just mounted on the side. That way it's just quick access. I need to measure a fish and weigh a fish. I can do that really fast. Also I have a pair of sunglasses uh, in this little accessory slot here. Because it's just really versatile. Uh, the pliers actually have a shock cable or a bungee cable actually attached to that and I drilled a small little hole to put the fastener to. And guys, if you haven't checked these out, I'm going to do a review on these later, but these are the Pisifon pliers. They're made out of aluminum, so they're not going to be rusting. So these things are pretty awesome, folks. So stay tuned for that video. As you can tell, I use this for when I'm out doing vlogging and fishing trips. I have my GoPro actually mounted to the container itself. So I just took a cheap piece of dowel rod and I have plans to paint this. That way it matches the tote. But guys, we're on a budget, right? And from the bottom here, I drilled a hole through the plastic and I just secured this in by using a small screw on the bottom end to keep that retained. Yeah, these are just the regular Plano 3650 size tackle boxes. And I have these labeled. I might go ahead and label the top. I actually had a different layout before, so I might label those differently in the future. Uh, but folks, this will get you out on the water on a budget and you're not gonna break the bank and it's actually really sturdy and rigid. And it's actually more functional than having to deal with the tackle box or having to deal with a tackle bag where you're constantly having to unzip those pouches and this is just gonna make it a lot easier, folks. So if you have any questions, please place those down in the comment box below. So guys, if you like this grab-and-go tackle box DIY build, 
Go ahead and hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't joined the Blue Collar Bass and TV family yet. And once again, hit that notification bell. That way you can be the first ones to see my new videos every single time they roll out. So I have videos rolling out at least once a week. So please stay tuned. Also in the description box, I'll place uh, the link to buy this as well as the pliers and some of the other gadgets. That way you can build your own if you like this. Uh, if you have any ideas to how, to how to make this better, go ahead and put that in the description box as well. Guys, if you have any other fishing related budget DIY build uh, ideas, go ahead and place that in the comment box. So once again, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for that next video.